Okay, welcome. Here we go. here we go. So standing up, we're just going to start moving, moving the joints, loosening things up. This kind of little bouncing, just just bouncing with the feet flat, so not lifting the heels up. But this gently moves every joint and just sort of moving your body. So bending forward a little bit, sideways, backwards, maybe just doing circles with your head, with your hips, and slightly bouncing. Bring the stillness, lifting your arms overhead with palms together and looking up a bit, letting the back arch just a slight bit and stretching your hands toward the ceiling, feeling that stretch on the sides of the body and then gently turning from side to side. So it's not a big move. We're stretching and turning so we're not we're not in any of these going as far as we possibly can. And letting the, letting the hands come down. You can see what Jessie has, has an exercise band. And so she's doing that same thing. You can- It's actually a, a, a weighted bar. Oh. It's got handles oh, on the edge. Bar. It's okay. just a little bit of weight. Yeah, it keeps my hands in line. So I'm not tweaking. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. And so letting the hands come down a little bit, palms facing back, and just pulsing the hands back. So you're going to feel this opening the chest a little bit, your shoulder blades kind of coming together. Moving the arms, moving the hands, wrapping the hands around, moving your fingers. Stretching your hands, making fists, moving them around. And just feeling, sort of feeling these joints sort of loosening up a little bit. And you get an idea of areas that might be tight. You know, letting your, bringing your hands to about shoulder height with your elbows bent, and then just pulling the elbows back. And, as if you're pulling your shoulder blades together and then coming forward, rounding your back a little bit. Again, bringing the elbows back. In my, when you're in this posture, maybe taking a deep breath. And then when you let the breath go, bringing your hands in front of you, letting the back round a little bit you breathe out. Now we're just going to turn a bit. Again, twisting this time with our arms down. Let your knees be soft. So some of this twist is even in your legs. Letting your head and your shoulders move together. And coming to stillness. And then just moving your head. And just slowly looking to one side and the other. So just this gentle twisting of the neck. Coming to stillness, looking down and up. And again, when you look up, you're not, we're not trying to go as far as possible. If your neck doesn't like that. Looking up a little bit and then moving your head from side to side. Bringing your chin toward the chest. And then once again, just gently moving your head from side to side. And then the hips, doing big circles with the hips. And letting your shoulders move in the opposite direction, they naturally will, just so that we don't fall over. Letting your head feel a little bit heavy, so it's, it's kind of rolling around, going in the other direction. And 
Coming to stillness. Bring the arms up to about shoulder height. If that hurts your shoulders, and letting the arms be lower. Because here, we're just going to reach from one side to the other. So you're going to, to feel this in the rib cage. And then bending from side, one side to the other. So a similar move of the spine, but not the same. All right. And then lifting up one heel, moving the foot in circles. You can do this with your foot on the ground. If you're next to a chair, you can pull your knee up, hold your knee up and move your feet. Or if you're, you just wanna play with your balance, however it is. So moving your ankle, moving the knees, and now a move that we've done with Jesse before, just slow movement in the hips, sort of opening up the hips here. Just feeling this, kind of feeling into the body. How this feels. I'm going to take a, a seat now. Let me invite you to do that. So here we can. We can work on our abs a little bit whenever we are doing exercises that that use the back that strengthen the back that one of the best ways that we can protect ourselves is to strengthen the front. So this is just a couple of isometric exercises we've often done these with your hands on your legs, I want you to press your shoulders forward as if you're trying to lean your torso onto your legs and push them back at the same time. So you're, you're not actually gonna be moving very much, but you can feel this. You can feel the muscles in your arms engaged and feel for the muscles in your belly. So a lot of these will be the muscles along the center line. Okay, letting go of that. Relaxing the stomach, taking a deep breath. When you do that, you know, kind of feeling, even feeling the belly was, um, enlarge a little bit. Once again, the same move. Pressing your shoulders down, pushing your shoulders away. And feeling your stomach. You can feel your shoulders and your arms as well. So just feeling the muscles at work. If we put our attention on those muscles, then we're able to isolate them and let's work them a little bit more. Letting go, relaxing, sitting up, arching the back just a little bit, looking up a little bit. We're sort of stretching the front of the body coming back to sitting upright, taking a slightly wider stance, and a one hand on the opposite knee, and the same thing, pushing that elbow toward the opposite knee and pushing it away. I mean, that shoulder toward the opposite knee and pushing it away. Just feeling the body at work, again, you're gonna feel Different muscles in the arms engaged, different muscles in the belly engaged, which are more on the side. Let your face be relaxed. It's always surprising how often I tighten my jaw when those muscles really have nothing to do with the exercise. Relaxing, sitting up, breath, once again, same side. Shoulder down, pushing it away. And relaxing, letting go of that. And then on the other side, again, pushing the shoulder toward the knee, pushing it away. 
feeling the muscles engaged, but letting the other muscles be relaxed, the muscles in the hand and the arm that are not being used, letting those be as relaxed as possible in your face. Relaxing, letting go of that, coming up. And once again on that side. And letting go of that, taking a breath, coming to, you know, to sitting here once again, sort of raising your arms up, letting your back arch just a little bit, then letting your hands come down toward the floor, palms back, pulsing your, your hands back, pulsing the palms back. Okay, and you're ready for Jess. Okay, you know what, stay seated. We're just gonna, we'll, we'll do um, some uh, sit to stands since we're already seated. Feet nice and wide, weights on the heels as you come up, turn and punch. So this should start getting your uh, heart rate up pretty well. The lower body has uh, bigger muscles using more oxygen. so. A pretty good one to start out with today. As we go along with the warm up, you can increase your speed, whatever you're feeling. Okay, it's just to get your body ready for the exercise um, portion, the workout part. So go at your own pace, use your best judgment. Last one each side. Good. Go ahead and stand up. I got my chair next to me just to help with balance, but let's just do some leg swings, just front and back, keeping your, keeping your hips locked. Easy, you don't have to hike your foot up very far, but it activates the glutes right here, which is really important for walking and fall prevention. So this whole the, from the hips down is our, is our big focus for that one. Okay, so let's get some high knees. Just work a little swing in with it. Pulling that belly button, shoulder blades back, eyes forward. Again, we want to break a little sweat for our warm up, okay? Five more seconds here, and we'll go into our lunges. Two, one. Okay, so up nice and tall. We're going to step and we're going to turn. Come back up, other leg. So we're just gonna alternate. We're gonna turn our bodies towards the, the front leg side. Just got my hands out here for balance. You can do, you no, know, you can uh, you can hold them by the sides if you want, if you need it um, a little bit more. Little bend in the front knee. I'm gonna get one more each leg and shake it out. Feet wide, arms out, and we're gonna to kick to the front and aim towards our foot. I don't want you to bend yourself in half to try to reach it, but the point is just to get the foot off the ground a little bit and turn. Just past halfway, so about 10 seconds. Standing up nice and tall in the middle and resetting. Three, two, one. Let's get our butt kickers and our push pulls. Okay, so arms are out front, heel goes back to the butt, elbows go back behind you. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades, you're stretching the front of your thighs, you're working on a little balance, being on one leg for a bit. <clears throat> Oh, five more seconds. Two, one. All right, so this is kind of a new one. I just combined it differently. You've all seen the hinge, right? So your hips are gonna go back. You don't have to go low. Just let the arms hang out in front. Then I want you to bring your um, arms up like a scarecrow 
and then turn them down. So it's, it's just two smooth moves. Down and up, down and up, okay? So get in your own little groove of timing. It's not meant to go fast, but just to get the posterior of your body. Keep the elbows up to the sides. Hopefully it won't aggravate any shoulder problems. About 10 more seconds. Okay, last one, let's do modified jacks. So let's open our hips out to the side. If it's hard to go overhead, you can just make a T. Little bend in the knee to absorb your body weight. Landing softly, pushing through the floor. Upper body's nice and tall, good. Five more seconds here. And one, I'll let you guys finish. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, let's do some planks. Fun with planks with Terry and Jesse. Okay, a nice strong plank, okay? You're rolling on your toes, your shoulders are over your wrists. We're gonna bring our knee in and then heel up and back. So similar to our swings that we did with the legs standing up straight. This one, I want a little more hold on the up part. I'll show you right here. Just a little pause, okay? We're trying to get, trying to get our glutes activated enough to keep us stable when we're moving. Eyes down. I'm gonna get one more each way. And switch. See, so I have my leg, my, the, leg, the moving leg has a slight bend in it. Try to keep those hips from wobbling. And breathe. One more each direction. Walk it in and shake it out. We'll do an upper body. Let's see, let's see if I can mix it up a bit for you. Um, T raise, let's turn and then make like a little half circle. Just get those shoulders a little bit more opened up. Crossing in front of your chest. Get one more each side. Try to keep your hips in line with your ankles and your shoulders. <sighs> what else, what else? Let's do our fire hydrants, okay? One leg at a time, of course. Little, little bend in the knee on the moving leg. And we're just gonna go out to the side. Again, a little pause at the top. There's three major parts of the glutes and some are more neglected than others. So let's even everything out. One more, switch legs. Two more. Good. Upper body. Let's uh, let's double this one up too. Two for one special today. We'll do a row, straighten it back out, and then do a bicep curl. Safely switch, elbow back, out straight again. Then curl your hand towards your elbow. Try to keep your um your elbow as close to your rib cage as you can on the curl. I'm gonna get one more each side. I'll let you guys finish up. Should be feeling it in your chest and shoulders pretty well now. Take your time, it's not a rush. Probably feels good, huh? Okay. 
I'm going to do some legs, leg sweeps. So I'm going to go keep one foot to the outside and I'm going to cross it to the other. A little pause at the top of that move too. You want to feel this in your inner thigh. I'm going to stay on the same leg for about 15 seconds. Now we'll switch. We don't think about these little components of, of our body, do we? I'm going to switch after this one. Woo, shake it out. Foot out to the side, cross the midline. Hold. Pulling in that belly button and breathing. I'm going to make this my last. I'm going to play some patty cakes. So I'm just going to face you. My feet are the same, rolling on the toes. Shake it out a little bit. Body nice and straight, squeezing every muscle in your body. Keep your eyes neutral. Once you see what I'm doing on the screen, go ahead and lower them as needed. going across the body. So we got a nice shoulder and, and chest activation here. Five more seconds. Two, last one. Nice, go ahead and grab some water. Uh, get some light weights if you choose to use those or a water bottle or books or something. Something if, to progress you in your strength if that's where you're at. It's hot already at like seven o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. Monsoon season's coming up. So much going on. Yay. Yeah, I know. Is everybody cool? I can't see you. Okay. Okay. We're going to do some skiers. Got your weights by your side. I'm going to show you two views. Okay. So my feet are close together. I got a, I'm crouching. Got a little crouch going on. I'm going to step to the side and swing up. So it's a little coordination here. So you're just gonna step and crouch. You don't have to bring your shoulder, you know, it's not a front raise. It's just a light swing. Your core should be pretty, pretty hard to keep your body straight right now. So tighten the core so your back doesn't bend. We got about 10 more seconds here. This is another one that gets your heart rate up, breathing a little heavy. Five seconds, eyes forward. If your eyes are down at the floor, your, your back is probably curved. We are going to superset, like I was talking before. We're gonna do that front step, just like we did with the warm up, and the opposite arm is gonna do a bicep curl. Keep your elbow close to your ribs. Do it this direction, eyes forward, nice healthy step. <clears throat> and five, four, three, two, one. All right, definitely take a little breather in through the nose, out through the mouth. You don't want, you want to set yourself up for the next move, okay? Kind of reset your, your body and your mind. Okay, we're gonna do our hinge like we did in the warm up, and then upside down these for our chest. Weights on the heels, feet are shoulder width apart. Imagine that string behind me pulling my hips back, and then come up upside down V to about your forehead. So nice and smooth. Little tug on the hamstrings and the glutes. They should be very well warmed up by now. Down nice and slow. Maybe do your two or three count. One, two, three, good. Core's tight so your, your body doesn't lean forward. Just past halfway. And last one for me, I'll let you guys finish up. <clears throat> Standing or sitting, 
we try to accommodate all, all of those adaptations, but this one I'm gonna stand. Sometimes, sometimes we'll sit and do it just to take a little break, but keep the elbows up, making L's with your arms. Very similar to our warm up. Everything should kind of ring a bell like I've seen that before, right? Try to keep everything relevant. 10 more seconds. Definitely feeling that in my chest now. Shoulders, last one. Good. Switch my weights up. Uh, just like the warm up, we're gonna sit to stand from the chair. I got two weights. Arms hanging down, feet nice and wide. We'll, we'll call it a sumo squat. That's the really nice, that's the really wide one. Same concept as a regular squat, just position of the feet are different. Back up nice and tall, bring the weights right up the middle of your chest. Feet pointed 10 and two, keep those knees in line. Elbows no higher than the collarbone, okay? Five more seconds. Last one. Okay, right into the wide rows. Sorry. Okay, um, let's get palms up. Feet nice and wide, a little hinge. I don't want you to bend forward, but I just don't want you to have that wide base of support. Elbows out and back. This time I want you to flare your elbows out away from your ribs. This just targets a different area of your big back um, muscles. Bring it down nice and slow and controlled. Pause at the top. And it also gets a, a good activation of the biceps when you're Palms are facing upward. It utilizes the biceps a lot more. Five more seconds. Good. Take a little breather. Reset. We're going to go side to side with lunges next while raising our arms up to the side. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. Feet together in the center, make sure you have enough room. Okay, nice and tall. Step to the side, little bend in the knee, arms back down. Don't let them just flop down, guide them down. Try to keep your feet parallel. So in line with each other, not pointed out to the side because you want to watch your knees. You want your knees to be right over your, your toe, not past it. Last 10 seconds. Get a couple more in. I'm going to finish this direction and wait. I'm going to keep the same weights and I'm going to superset it with another shoulder exercise. So see what I mean by burning out? Uh, let's alternate. So this activates the core so we don't, our bodies don't um, swing side to side. So the core is keeping us nice and tall. And then we're going right up to our nose. A little pause, bring it down slow. Just past halfway. Good. We'll go through another round with stretches. And then is it weekend time? It's my day off. Three, two, one. I can't stay away from you guys, huh? I know, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, what's next? Um, reverse lunge, so light weights here. Let's take a healthy step back. We're gonna keep our arms straight. So watch me first, you step. You push back, straight arms, so that gets the, um, the upper back and the, and the triceps, the back of the upper arm and the um, upper back, sorry. So step, push, 
middle. Good one for balance. If you need to get your leg up to the side a little bit for, for better balance, I, I do that too. That's okay. Eyes forward, chest out, shoulders back. We're not swinging our arms. We're pushing, holding, guiding it back down. I'll give you guys a couple more seconds on this one. It takes a while. We got five more seconds. Last one. Good. Okay, superset time. Elbows up, hands facing each other in the center, press out. So we just supersetted that tricep muscle I was talking about in the beginning, the back of our upper arm. The one when you're waving, it keeps going, once, even if you stop your hand. Try to let your shoulders relax, take them off your neck. Sometimes we get to these and we do them with our um, shoulders up by our ears. Just relax the shoulders and bend at the elbows. I'm done here, shake it out. One more set of abs. We'll take a little breather and go back to the top. Sit, please. <clears throat> Edge of chair, reaching back behind you for support. Feet together, bring them up, separate down. Now a modification of course, is to do one at a time, no problem. Or to have your knee bent a little bit so it's not straight out and, and putting too much pressure on your, your tummy and your back, okay? So challenge yourself, try a couple. The more you lean back, the more you're using your core. And breathe. I just held my breath for like 10 seconds. And smile, right, Terry? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Keep smiling. 10 seconds. We're gonna superset these with some side crunches. Last one. You can stay seated or stand, but we're just bringing our elbow and our knee together quickly. So if you want to challenge your balance or if your balance is done for the day, that's fine. We're just going to get our core. So I'm going to invite you to feel the sides of your, of your stomach muscles and see when you bring up your knee, the lower part on the side gets nice and tight. And of course, we'll stretch it later. Three, two, switch. <laughs> Eyes forward. Always catch myself looking at the floor. Ten seconds. And this stance leg is feeling it too. Ooh. And last one. Good. All right, shake it out, take a, take a little drink break. So far, so good, everybody good? You look awesome. Back to the top with the side to side swings or skiers, I call them. You're going down the slopes, feet are together, arms are by your side. Step out, swing up. So when you stand up straight, the weight should be um, at shoulder length, height, I should say, and then crouch in the middle. See the time. Five or so seconds. And then we'll superset them with chest flies. Last one. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter for this one. Arms up like a goalpost. Nice wide base of support. You wanna protect your back. Give it all the support you can. Forearms together, flail it out. 
elbows up. Good. Coming up on five, four, three, two, and down. Let's stretch those buggers out, huh? Let's have a seat. In through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, chest out, arm back. You can do this on the wall too, which I prefer. Because then I can manipulate the arm up and down, get those other fibers above and below. When you're ready, go ahead and switch. Okay, what's up next? We'll get our hinge with our upside down Vs. Go kind of heavier on this one. Feet nice and wide, palms up. Bend at the hip, up straight, come together. Back slow. Don't have to go low. Couple more in and time. Good. I mixed up the, the exercises, but anyway, we'll keep moving. So let's do our front lunge and bicep curl. We were supposed to do that with the first set. We'll get over it, right? Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> Five more seconds, nice and strong. Step, curl, and last one, time. Let's have a seat again. <clears throat> Let's get the front of our legs. Foot behind your knee down. You're on the edge, holding on to the back, and a little lean. Oh, that feels good. So try to push your hips forward a little bit here. You feel the difference in the front thigh right around the um, hip area? Kind of scoot up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Little scoot. Ah. Okay, okay, we're gonna stay in the chair. We'll do our sumo squats, our sumo wrestlers. Feet nice and wide. Arms down the middle, eyes forward, press up, lift the elbows, slowly lower yourself down. Keep going like this, about 20 more seconds. Then we'll get into our rows. Five seconds. I'm going to finish up here. You guys go ahead. Wide rows, palms up, feet nice and wide, hips back just a little bit so you get that angle of a slant, elbows up and back. Super setting the upper back here. Five seconds. Three, two, bring it down slow. Come on up. Let's use the back of our chair and get a nice long stretch in our shoulders, upper back and hips. Whew. 
the weight on your heels. Actually lift your toes a little bit. You can even put the weight on one side at a time, a little bend in the knee. Just feel into it, feel what your body needs. Ah, oh, nice. And walk it in. Almost there, guys. We're gonna go side to side with our lunges or steps. And we're gonna lift our arms out to the side. So feet together, palms together, step, raise. Bring me down nice and slow and controlled. Little bend in your elbow is fine. It's a little bit safer for your shoulders, actually. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top of the move right here. Pull them back. And remember with the like the warm up when we bent our feet, I bent our knees just a little bit to absorb our weight. Do the same here. Just sink into it a little bit. Five more seconds. I'm going to finish this one and let you guys go. Because then we got alternating front raises. One at a time. Lock in that core so you're not tipping. You can even squeeze your glutes, scrunch your toes into the carpet. Ten seconds. Palms down. Five, four, three, two. Okay, my favorite shoulder stretch also gets your upper back. Straight arm, pull towards your chest at the forearm, just like we did with the chest, um, just like we did with this chest stretch. You can do the same here going up and down. Wiggle your fingers. Get the most out of every move. If you're short on time, heck, we're almost done. We've only been working out for like 15, 20 minutes tops after the warm up. <sighs> Try to make time for some jokes today. Get the wheels turning. Okay. Um, reverse lunge, then we're going to push our straight arms back. So we're going to step behind us, uh, palms behind you, lunge, press, step up. So two parts lunge, press, up. Or you can just take a nice healthy step. No bend in that back leg. That's fine too. Little pause at the top. One, then come up. I think we probably just passed halfway. Let's go 10 more seconds. Five. And we're done here. Okay, tricep press outs, elbows out, knuckles touching or weights touching. Press out, make a T, bring it back in. Super setting our triceps. Try to relax your shoulders again. I just have to take it off my ears. Five seconds. And time. Not sure if you can all get your elbow up over your head, but this is a pretty good one. Have it bent behind you. If, you're, if you have shoulder problems, I don't want you to force yourself to do it. You can always grab your elbow here. And similar to the, similar to the, the shoulder one we just did. Raise your hands up and up and down if you're the, going this route. I like to wiggle my fingers here. Go ahead and switch. Or go across the body. It's the back of the arm. Okay. Oh, one more, one more set, one more pair of exercises. Let's get our um, these are called hello dollies. So with the legs, 
bring them out. You can do it one at a time, or you can do both. Now try to keep them up without putting your feet down. <laughs> try a couple of them. If not, put them down in between, no biggie. Five seconds, and then we'll go into our fast side crunches. In the chair, it looks like this. Standing, you're just up tall, and squeeze. So don't, try not to like go like this. Just really keep your upper body as straight as you can. Stay nice and tall as much as you can. And uh, just bring the moving parts, our elbows and knees only, not in the hips to bend. Five seconds. And time, switch it up. Ooh, we're almost done. Everybody better have a joke. Halfway, 10, three, two, one. Don't stop moving. Terry's gonna cool us down. The ones that I saw, you looked awesome. Yeah, so keep moving. Like Jesse just said, walk around, move your arms, move your shoulders in any way that feels comfortable. Maybe big circles with the arms, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Walk Did you know that you're not on a picture? Huh? No. Your camera's, your camera's not on. Oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> you just had it. Oh, and it's gone again? Yeah. It, it was for me. What, what do you guys oh. think? Oh, okay. You're, you're good to me now. Okay, no, yeah. <laughs> All right, so keep moving. <laughs> keep moving your arms, moving your feet, moving your legs. And some of these stretches that we just did, little stretches in the arms in front of us. Palms back, arms to the side, pulsing the arms back. Letting everything slow down, letting your breath slow down in through the nose and out through the mouth using the chair again, like we did with Jess, just letting your hips come back, letting your knees be bent, letting your head come down, and then just bending one knee a little bit and then the other, sort of like walking in place just moving the hips and straightening the body out as if we're coming into a plank, but then letting the hips come down a little bit, looking up a little bit. So we're just arching the back a tiny bit, breathing slowly. If that feels good to you, it's sort of a cat cow move. For those of you who have done yoga, doing, the, doing it again. Hips back, shoulders down, breath slowing, straightening up, letting your hips come forward just a little bit. Now walking it in, moving your arms, moving your legs, you know, maybe using a chair or a wall or something as support. Just doing some of these big moves with the hips, hip openers. You can do this standing. Jess is doing that. You can sit down if you want, taking a sort of a wide stance, putting your, your elbows inside the legs, and just slightly pushing out, maybe moving the shoulders just a little bit from side to side. Are stretching one, one leg and then the other. We worked a lot with the muscles on the sides of our legs. If you're sitting, just letting your, letting your torso 
or to do big circles or standing for that matter. Just in these big circles, either with your hips, if you're standing, with your shoulders, if you're sitting one way and then the other. I'm just coming to stillness, <clears throat> feeling inside, feeling, noticing inside the body now, noticing what your breath feels like, noticing the uh, aliveness in your body. 